A select committee of lawmakers called the heads of the Texas Department of Public Safety to a packed hearing in Austin today was all focused on keeping you safe. Thank you for joining us here at 5. I'm Robert Hadlock. And I'm Erin Cargyle. In for Sydney Benter, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick charged the committee with addressing mass violence by looking into some big issues, and that includes gun sales between strangers, digital and social media indicators, video games, and racism's role in terrorism. KXAN political reporter Phil Prazen was at the state capitol as lawmakers try to work through the changing politics around guns. We might need additional laws, tools, or actions to intervene. Personally, I'm not willing to sacrifice our Second Amendment rights to try to prevent evil from occurring. The Senate is controlled by Republicans, now having open and honest discussions about measures like adding background checks for some private gun sales. Gun rights groups no longer know if they have 100% fealty from the Texas GOP. Frustrating and disappointed, really? uh, yes, uh, because we don't feel like they're uh, paying attention to the people. Brothers Henry and Richard Bonnert are advocates with Gun Owners of America. They say trying to stop violent crime before it happens just can't be done. How do you determine an evil mind? You can't. That No one can determine that when someone is going to create an evil act. While momentum is shifting towards gun safety groups, they don't quite trust Texas lawmakers either. We saw these same lawmakers collectively loosening all of our gun laws here in Texas. Without a special session, lawmakers can't change laws until after the next election. And Moms Demand Action volunteer Hillary Whitfield worries the lawmakers in place now will go halfway and call it a solution. We know that the state legislature really has the best interests of Texas in mind and is on the side of the majority of Texans wanting these strong measures, then uh, we don't think that we need to get together again. This week, a few North Texas Republicans said on a podcast that there have been Republican lawmakers talking openly about a special session next spring. Governor Greg Abbott is the only person who can call a special session, and he has pushed back against any call for a session before 2021. At the Capitol, Phil Prazen, back to you. Lawmakers from two of the country's largest cities brought attention to gun violence in their own communities today. They want Congress to take action against what they call an epidemic. Since May, at least 22 children under 16 years of age have been killed by guns in the St. Louis region. Two Democrats advocated for their bills. One would make it a federal crime to help ineligible people get guns. The other would let local governments pass gun laws without federal or state interference. But some Republicans say this plan won't work. Until we reckon with these basic truths and discuss solutions that will actually hold accountable the perpetrators of gun violence instead of restricting the rights of law-abiding gun owners, we will continue to be mired in gridlock. 